The following program is brought to you by Hollywood Connection Center, a network for entertainment industry professionals. Who needs a tan and why should you tan? Anyone in acting, modeling, pageants, even for weddings and different events, social events, we tan every day for just everyday people as well as models, actresses, uh, people in the entertainment industry that just know that they need to look their best even if they're behind the camera. This is very important because it is part of your persona. People like that healthy looking glow. It gives you a more youthful, vital appearance. And it can also help you cover up any cellulite, um, unsightliness in your skin. It helps cover um, any kind of birthmarks or other imperfections that you might have. It evens out dark skin. It's very important to look your best. We know this being in the entertainment industry. Uh, and it's vital to get a great spray tan that's natural, organic. And obviously you want to look and make sure that the person's work isn't orangey or muddy, which a lot of the spray tans are. The industry's come a long way. So you can get a great natural looking spray tan these days. You just need to do your research. I recommend looking on Yelp. Uh, also look at the person's Instagram of the spray tan artist or the company that you're thinking about working with. This will give you a great idea of what their tans look like and how it might look on your skin. One thing that a lot of people don't know about spray tanning is that you need to have healthy skin to begin with. This is vital in getting the perfect tan. How do you keep your skin healthy? Well, I definitely recommend a good moisturizer. The best time to apply this moisturizer would be after the shower or bath when your pores are open and able to receive that moisture. Also, of course, applying a great sunscreen organic sunscreen, I recommend a brand called Kula. It will give you that even texture. You won't have weird tan lines that you're worried about covering up or anything like that. It provides a great base and for healthy skin. Not burnt skin. Um, it makes it a lot easier to tan. What's very important and what sets us apart is our consultation and our custom blending. When we meet our client for the first time, I'm studying their undertones, their overtones, and then we also ask what event they're tanning for. It's not going to be the same tan that you're going to have a beach shoot or runway that you're going to have for maybe uh, a, a headshot for your acting portfolio or whatever. It's going to be a definite different tan. So we like to learn what our clients are tanning for, what their desired outcome is, and then we study those undertones and overtones to provide the best possible custom blended tan. Hi, I'm Megan Bell, owner of Golden Glow Tans here in lovely Beverly Hills. I'm inviting you to join myhollywoodpage.com. I have four key tips to getting the best possible spray tan. Number one, you want to plan your tan 24 to 48 hours before your shoot or before you're due on set. This is key. I have a lot of last minute people that come in and expect that their tan is going to be ready in a couple hours. This is generally not the case. Number two, you want to come into your spray tan session with clean, dry skin. This is vital to getting a perfect tan. Third, you want to stay hydrated. After you rinse your tan, you want your skin to stay moisturized and you want to stay hydrated drinking lots of water as well. This is going to keep your skin in a really healthy state. Four, you want to bring with you a great self-tanner 
to do any little touch-ups. Maybe the makeup artist wipes too much of your tan. Uh, there's a lot of chemicals that are used during onset to take off makeup. You want to have a great self tanner in your bag to be able to give yourself that glow. We have a few we recommend in studio and I'd be happy to share that with you if you come in. My before and after tanning advice is that you want to come to your tanning session with clean, dry, exfoliated skin. You want to wear something to your session that is going to be loose and dark so that the tan doesn't come off or get rubbed by any elastics or bands or anything too tight. I also recommend you wear flip-flops. This is going to keep the, the straps to a minimum and let the tan really activate on your skin. After your tanning session, you should put on loose, dark clothing and plan to not do any workout or anything strenuous where you might get sweaty or anything like this where you might affect the tan. So make sure to do your workout prior to your tanning session and come in, like I said, with clean, dry skin. You will leave with a beautiful golden tan and you want to leave that on depending on your spray tan artist will tell you anywhere between three and usually 10 hours. Definitely ask your artist and they'll give you the recommendation for your time and your skin type. Contouring and how this can help your career. So contouring is a commonly tossed around phrase in makeup artistry as well as tanning. It's very important that you have an artist that can contour when you need it in your industries. Modeling, acting, it's highly important. It can give you that extra edge, that a little bit um, more contour defined look. I've tanned many models that needed to look like they had a little bit larger bum or a little bit thinner legs. Different things like this can be achieved with a spray tan. It doesn't need to be makeup. And this could give you that little extra edge when it comes to a shoot or even your Polaroids. Polaroids, you know, they're pretty, pretty extreme. They show every detail. So when you need that extra little coverage without anybody knowing you have coverage on, a spray tan is the way to go. How to maintain your glow. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that, like I said, you have healthy skin. You want to exfoliate beforehand and you want to set up a weekly appointment with your spray tan artist. Every seven to 10 days is about the cycle of a spray tan. As your skin sheds naturally, so does the spray tan. When you do this, you want to exfoliate the old tan completely off so that you're tanning fresh, beautiful skin, not the old skin that's going to slough off in a couple days. We have a lot of actresses and models that will come in so they can maintain that certain skin tone. And we also teach you here how to maintain that glow. If you're out uh, on set or you're out of the country, maybe you're filming, we have some tips and tricks we can show you to maintain that glow while you're abroad. I have a lot of self tanners that we can use as well as tan extending moisturizers with a little bit of DHA. Uh, I have a few that I recommend here in studio and if you'd like to learn a little bit more, please come and visit. I think we may have uh, a few little extra tips and tricks we can show you in studio. Hi, I'm Megan Bell, owner of Golden Glow Tans here in lovely Beverly Hills. I'm inviting you to join myhollywoodpage.com.